Hey guys! In today's video, we are going to make this easy DIY abstract acrylic painting. Here are the art supplies we need. I leave links to the art supplies in the video description below. There are two awesome things about this painting. The first one is that this painting will suit almost any interior design style. So, whether your style is modern, industrial, Scandinavian, contemporary, rustic or somewhere in between, there is a way to beautifully incorporate this abstract artwork into your decor. I am applying black acrylic paint and spreading it with a palette knife. The second great thing about this piece is that you can use poor quality art supplies and they work even better. Usually, low quality art materials can ruin your artwork, but not in this case. For example, I am using old cheap paint from a hardware store and there are lumps in it. But for today's technique, it's perfect. You can also use a poor quality canvas like I do or use a ruined painting. For this technique, they are just right. I am pouring regular beach sand into the paint. My canvas size is 24 by 20 inches, which is about 60 by 50 centimeters. I am pouring again black acrylic paint above the sand and then mixing the paint with sand, at the same time creating the texture with a palette knife. All these clumps in the paint will give some extra texture, but don't worry if your paint has a uniform consistency. Cool texture can be made with sand, which I am doing right now. Let it dry overnight. I've mixed black acrylic paint with some pouring medium. My pouring medium has a glossy finish. Also, instead of pouring medium, you can use a little bit of glossy varnish for acrylic painting. Why did I do it? You're wondering. I did this to make this black color deeper than the previous one, and it will give the painting a velvet like effect and extra texture. I am only applying our mixture to unpainted spots, not to the entire canvas. It looks so cool in real life, you should definitely try it. Don't forget to paint the edges of your painting. Even if you frame it, the edges of the painting still can be visible when you use some types of frames, like for example a floating one. I am applying white acrylic paint with a dry flat nylon brush. I'm applying gold acrylic paint with a palette knife. If you want to see an awesome detailed tutorial on 9 best easy texture techniques, then follow the link at the top of the screen.
I am laying in white and gold. I've mixed white and gold paints on the palette and I'm applying them to unify our stripes. Final touches. I'm applying gold paint with a palette knife again. I'm in love with this piece. It looks so layered with 3D and velvet effects. If you have any questions regarding today's piece, leave me a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to attend it and help you to any way that I can. And be sure to subscribe, because more incredible content is on the way. Bye!